Hello everyone, this is Charles with Toolkit for Elementor, and today is our first official video. And I'm super excited and proud to be able to show you guys version 1.0 and what our team has been working on for the past several months now. Um, first, I want to give a big shout out and thanks to a lot of the Elementor community users that have been messaging me about the Toolkit project, and a lot of you that have beta tested with us and given us a lot of cool feedback and ideas. Um, it's with this feedback and beta testing that we we're able to launch a really solid version 1.0 uh, and really create something that we're super proud of. Now if you haven't already, I've included the links to our official roadmap as well as our Facebook community. On our roadmap, you'll be able to see answers to frequently asked questions as well as all of the features that are built into Toolkit as well as upcoming features that we have planned for our roadmap. Also, when you have a moment, if you haven't already, make sure you join our official Toolkit for Elementor community on Facebook, where you'll be able to interact with other Toolkit users, ask any questions that you may have, and also submit any cool ideas that you may have or like to see integrated into Toolkit. A lot of users have already submitted some really awesome ideas that we look forward to looking into more, and you'll be able to vote on your favorite ones by simply clicking on your favorite features. All right, now let's go ahead and hop into Toolkit and take a look at some of its features. Once you install and activate Toolkit on your site, one of the first tabs you'll see is the Booster tab. And from your Booster tab, you'll be able to run GT Metro Scans right from your dashboard, as well as apply performance tweaks that will help you fix common GT Metrics and Google PageSpeed recommendations. These are things like minifying and combining your CSS and JavaScript, lazy loading images, iframes, and videos, and a variety of other fixes such as applying gzip compression, entity tags, leverage browser caching, combining Google fonts, and more. Now let's take a look at the next tab, which is Syncer. And Syncer is easily one of my favorite features about Toolkit. With Syncer, you'll be able to quickly and directly connect to your other Elementor sites and one-click import previously created and saved Elementor templates on those sites. Now there's other services and plugins out there that allow you to share your Elementor templates between your sites. However, oftentimes they require you to upload your content to a third-party cloud. And to access this service, normally they charge you either a monthly or annual subscription fee. With Syncer, you no longer need a third-party cloud. You'll simply one-click connect to your sites directly and import what you need. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at Themeless. Now, Themeless is an area that we're super excited about, and our team is looking forward to developing this more in future versions, especially when we get into building out global styling options in future versions of Toolkit. When you activate Themeless, the WordPress theme framework is disabled, and your themes, CSS, and JavaScript files are no longer loaded on the front end of your site. Um, specifically, this was designed to work beautifully with Elementor Pro because they have the theme builder framework that allows you to develop and build out your global templates, such as your header, footer, uh, single, and archive page templates. Now, if you're an Elementor free user, um, we've built in to Toolkit a way to assign and, and design your global header and footer templates. And I'll show you this in the live demo in just a moment. All right, now let's go and take a look at Toolbox. So at least in version 1.0, there's only a couple of features that we have in Toolbox. Um, specifically, you have the ability to insert code into your site's headers, which is great if you're using Google Analytics um, or Facebook Pixel, for example, as well as the ability to insert code right after the opening body tag. And this is a, a brand new WordPress hook that was made available as of WordPress 5.2. But this is awesome for those of you that are using Google Tag Manager. And finally, we also have an option to insert code into your footer. We'll simply copy and paste your code into uh, the proper area and click Save Code. And that'll insert that code globally into your site. All right, what we're going to do now is go ahead and log into one of our test sites and show you some of these features in action. Because it's one thing to talk about, let's say, Syncer. But I think when you see just how fast Syncer is, uh, it'll blow your mind. So. Um, I'm logged into the dashboard of my test site. I've activated my license, and from here I'm able to see my other Elementor sites I've activated Toolkit on. 
Now, as this is a new site, what I want to do is um, actually download a couple of templates and starter pages that I have on a couple of my other sites on my license. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys as I'm doing this. This is all going to be done in real time because I want to show you just how fast uh, Syncer will help you import all of your saved templates. I'm going to first enable Syncer and connect to one of my other sites. Now it took about like two and a half seconds to connect and instantly I can see all of my other Elementor templates uh, saved on that site. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and start clicking import templates and download um, a couple of templates that I would love to use on my demo site. So just like that, one of my um, templates is imported. There's another one. And another one. And another one. And I'm going to now connect to a second site all together. And you'll notice, just in a matter of seconds, Syncure is now connected to that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and scroll through and maybe download a couple of other templates for use. And you notice, just in a matter of seconds, just like that, uh, I'm starting to import these templates from my other sites. Awesome. I'm going to connect to one more site. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and download this home template. This one's going to take a little bit longer because it's a home page template. But just like that, the template is downloaded. Now, when I go to my Elementor Save Templates folder, you'll notice now I have all of my Elementor templates saved in the library. And from here, I'm able just to simply access and edit these with Elementor and reuse on any of the pages on this new site. That was less than a minute. I connected to three sites and downloaded multiple templates from all of them. So this is a massive time saver. It's something that we're definitely excited about. When I'm done with Syncer, I'm just going to go ahead and disable it and move on to another portion of Toolkit. All right, now that we've had a chance to download a couple of our templates using Syncer, go to Pages and edit our home page using Elementor. And on here, let's just go ahead and maybe use one of the home page templates that's already available in the Elementor library. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the first one. We'll just insert this. Awesome. And you'll notice that that page has been imported. And maybe what I'll do too is uh, add from my templates one of the templates that we've just downloaded using Syncer. Awesome. Go ahead and click update. And what we're going to do is go back into our dashboard. Go to toolkit. And let's just go ahead and run a GT metric scan on this page just to get our updated stats on it. Now currently we um, don't have any of the other booster settings activated. So everything's deactivated as of right now. So we'll be able to see the impacts of these settings before and after. All right, now that that scan has been completed, you'll notice that our stats have been updated. What we're gonna do is go ahead and activate our booster performance settings. So I'm gonna go ahead, minify and combine my CSS and JavaScript. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply lazy load for images as well as iframe and videos. And then we'll go to server tweaks and um, apply the rest of these as well. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back to our GT metric scan. And I'm going to go ahead and run one more scan just to uh, get these stats updated. 
And in the meanwhile, I'm going to go visit our homepage. I notice on the front end it loads much faster already, but um, on the back end as it runs the scan. So we'll refresh with the new stats. Awesome. So after we've applied um, Booster's performance optimization settings, we'll notice that our um, website now loads about a full second faster. Our number of requests was cut down by um, almost 20 server requests. Total page size um, also cut down by almost half. Our page speed score and Y slow score uh, definitely got a nice kick up. And that's just from a uh, quick initial setup through Booster. Now from here, there's a couple of additional steps you should take in terms of optimizing your site, such as optimizing your images um, and also dequeuing scripts that you're not using. Uh, and for that, you can definitely check out our tutorial by simply clicking this image here. Uh, I created an hour-long tutorial that a lot of Elementor users have already seen. But in it, I cover pretty much all of the WordPress and Elementor performance fundamentals for you, as well as some tricks on how to optimize your sites. Now, by default, only site admins can see or use Toolkit for Elementor. However, what we've done is enabled site admins to grant access to Toolkit to specific users by going into the um, All Users area of WordPress and then editing a user's profile. Once you go into their profile, you'll notice at the bottom a new area that says Allow Use of Toolkit. Simply check the box and click Update User. Alright guys, I hope today's video um, helped clarify what Toolkit is capable of doing and some of the really cool features that we've built into version 1.0, whether that's running GT Metro scans right from your dashboard using Booster, um, or even applying some really cool optimization fixes or using Syncer to quickly connect to your other Elementor sites and to download uh, previously saved Elementor templates with just one click. Toolkit's going to save you tons of time and as we continue to develop more of our features um, in version 1.1 and 1.2, I really think um, it's going to help make the uh, Elementor page builder framework even more powerful than it already is. And our goal is to really uh, listen to the Elementor community and continue to collaborate with you guys to develop a really awesome user driven platform um, to help extend the Elementor experience. Thanks guys. Uh, again this is Charles with Toolkit and I hope you guys have an awesome day.